In this video, let's talk a little bit about stroke. What is a stroke and specifically about the kinds of strokes that the neurosurgeon deals with, which are when there's bleeding involved. Generally, we think about two types of stroke. One being ischemic stroke, where there's a blockage to the blood vessel and then the brain lacks blood flow and then there's dysfunction of the brain uh, and sometimes we can give medication to break up a clot or go in and retrieve a clot and restore the blood flow. Uh, other times we can't and the damage has been done but the patient still needs a lot of therapy after uh, and an evaluation for why the clot happened in the first place. That's an ischemic stroke it's a lot like a heart attack where there's a blockage of a vessel to the muscle in the heart and chest pain. This is like a heart attack, but in the brain. And instead of getting chest pain, you get neurologic dysfunction and other results from uh, the brain not functioning in a certain area. So that's ischemic stroke. Hemorrhagic stroke is when there's basically when there's bleeding in the brain. Now we can get bleeding in the brain from trauma, but I'm talking specifically about non-traumatic bleeding. Why would you get bleeding in the brain in the absence of trauma? Well, there's two underlying reasons. One is that there's a, a lesion of some kind, an aneurysm ruptured, an arterial venous malformation bled, a cavernous malformation or maybe a tumor or other underlying thing that happened to bleed. The other one is uh, from chronic damage to the vessels from high blood pressure, diabetes, uh, age-related change, and, and that kind of thing where there's not an aneurysm, there's not an AVM, but there is a bleed probably from some small vessel that uh, broke down with age and with time, maybe from um, high, high blood pressure. Uh, the, the issue with hemorrhagic stroke is as, as literature has gotten better with time, ischemic stroke patients really can have a good outcome and the treatments are standardized and I think in medicine we're a lot better at treating and managing ischemic stroke. We aren't that much better at treating and managing hemorrhagic stroke and the outcomes can be not as good as with ischemic and really not much better than they were a few years ago. What do we do when a patient has had a hemorrhagic stroke? Well, number one, is we want to have just the general management uh, strategies, control of the airway, making sure the patient is safe in that regard, and prompt medical care. Another one is we wanna control the blood pressure. A lot of patients come in with high blood pressure, and if we can lower the blood pressure and get control, what we can do in effect is prevent more bleeding. Another one is a lot of patients that have a hemorrhagic stroke are on anticoagulation like Coumadin or Eliquis or some other Plavix maybe. And so we want to reverse that if at all possible and definitely stop it. Another is we have the patient in the ICU. We will check a CT scan. That's how we know the patient's had a bleed in the first place. And then we'll check a CT angiogram to look for underlying uh, vessels or um, AVM or uh, the aneurysm and that that can be done very quickly and then we'll check another CT to see if there's any changes in the blood. Most of the time hemorrhagic strokes don't require surgery. We get asked to look at patients with hemorrhagic, hemorrhagic strokes all the time and the vast majority of the patients don't require surgery. Surgery is intended to save a life where the blood clot's very big and we, we, it's life-saving, but doesn't tend to improve the functional outcome. So if a patient has a hemorrhagic stroke or a blood clot and we're saying we probably don't need to do surgery on that, 
it's because historically the data isn't that strong in the recommendation for surgery. Eventually the blood will be reabsorbed, kind of like a bruise um, gets uh, reabsorbed by the body over time and the patients can make uh, a good recovery in, in many cases. Uh, but it is important, I think, to ha just have a basic understanding of what some of these things mean. Ischemic stroke, I would again compare to being like a heart attack of the brain. Hemorrhagic stroke would be where there's bleeding in the brain for some reason. Maybe it's an underlying tumor or vessel abnormality like an AVM or aneurysm, or maybe it's just from a chronic injury to vessels from diabetes, hypertension, and could be complicated by anticoagulants. And we can make a lot of the decision-making off of CT scans, uh, and it's definitely an interdisciplinary team that works with the patient to hopefully help uh, maintain as good of, and, and, and achieve as good of an outcome as possible.